Hey everybody, we're back. Today we're going to talk about relays. Um, today I have this wired in series. So these are IDEC style relays wired in series. What does that mean? That means all of these relays have to be turned on for this guy to be turned on. Okay, might look intimidating because there's a lot of relays here, but you break it down one by one, it's really, really easy. So why would you do this first? Um, this is basically a safety relay setup. So if you're running an air handler and this last guy is going to be the, the safety relay for the air handler, say this is a smoke detector, smoke detector, low limit, high limit, low temp, you name it, right? All We want all the safeties to be in place for the fan to turn on. We don't want the fan to ever come on if there's a safety trip, right? Blow something up, burn down the building, you name it. Bad things happen, okay? How do we wire this? Well, your gray here is going to the common side of your 24-volt transformer, right? The red here normally would go from your hot side of your transformer through the device, the safety device, like the smoke detector, low limit, high limit, and then into here. This closes the contact side of these relays. So once that's done, Everything up here and down here is wired to a normally open position. That means when this relay's off, the circuit's broken. When a relay's closed, the circuit closes, so it allows everything to pass through. Up here, this is what we're passing through. We're passing 24 volt hot through this relay, starting with this white wire here, going to the blue wire underneath, which jumps over to the next relay, which this is closed. So this is a closed circuit up here, jumping over here, closed. So it's jumping over here, closed, jumping over here, and so on until we get to this last one here. Now this last one here, it goes in the bottom, it goes out the top, but the top, instead of going over to the top of the safety relay, we're actually going into the, the contactor part of the relay. So this is the hot that turns on this relay. That means if anything's closed, let's see, I have a short here somewhere, so if I pull on that guy, there we go. That relay went off, therefore our safety relay went on off. All these have to be completely closed. We'll pull another one, we'll pull the first one. So you see it doesn't matter which relay it is. All of them have to be on. Let's fix this guy here. Oh my goodness. Beauty about these Wagyu connectors is you don't need tools to pull the wire out and put the wire back in. And if you're looking for these Wagyu connectors, I'll have a link in this description uh, below. I got mine from Amazon. It's a good place to get stuff if cheap and in bulk if you got a day or two to get it delivered. If not, you can pick it up. At local supply house carries those nice things. But this is how you wire relays in series. Again, it looks intimidating, but if you break it down one for one, it's really easy. The next videos we'll do, we'll do uh, parallel. We'll do some RIBs, some rib in a box um, style relays. These are just what I had on hand. Um, I don't have sponsors or anything, so everything I, I buy, I have to buy myself. So, hey, if you're out there and you want to sponsor me, let me know. Post a comment and uh, we'll get together. Maybe I can show your product off. But this is how you wire relays in series.